back, it's me, Shwebel, and welcome back to the second part of my coffee mug collection. Are you ready for this? Oh, so last year, okay, I remember where I got this coffee mug. I'm looking at it and was like, when the hell did I get this thing? I ended up taking a trip with my mom and sister to go all the way down south to Alabama. When we got done visiting and doing what the heck we needed to do down there, we came all the way back. We ended up hitting this rest stop near, um, really close to Nashville, so Nashville, Tennessee-ish area, and I came across this coffee mug. It is This is literally how that is. <laughs> and it goes, Nashville was so expensive, I can only afford half a cup. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, you know what? Sure. As a little a souvenir saying that I've been through here, why not? I've honestly not used it, but I just thought it was so cool as like this random little cup thing, and I was like, I love coffee mugs. I'll take a half of one. Why not? What are you doing? You being cute? Yeah? Were you just making a whole lot of noise while I'm right in the middle of recording? Yeah? Oh yes, because you're so cute. She's like, I know. <laughs> yep, that's right, get comfy. Mm-hmm. Which y'all missed was she literally just ran out of this box six times and I was too slow to get the camera. What a brat. This particular coffee mug, I'm pretty sure I got at the job I'm at now. It goes, hit me with your best pot, which I can agree every morning. Because if that coffee is weak, I am just... Not a happy camper. Now this is a really cool coffee mug that I found from Phoenix. He is a Freddy Krueger fan like there's no tomorrow. You have any questions about the franchise itself or just what his favorite movie was, what his most favorite death was, what deaths he thought were absolutely stupid, plot holes, he's got you covered. He loves Freddy Krueger series. I can't stand it. It is too creepy. I like Jason, and when we watched the movie uh, Jason vs. Freddy, that was funny. And thank God there were two different endings, so both of us were saved in the end, but still. Anyways, I found this for him at uh, Topic or Walmart, I can't remember, but it's, it's I, I just thought it was perfect. It goes, miss your wake up call, never sleep again, how sweet fresh meat, don't fall asleep. Uh, what is this? You miss me? You're mine now, piggy. Come out and play. Basically, all of his best lines from pretty much any of the Freddy Krueger movies. What is your favorite horror movie? I wouldn't say that the Jason series is my absolute 100% favorite horror movie because I didn't really start getting into the horror movie stuff until I was about 17-ish. Basically, when Phoenix and I first started dating. Now we're moving on to the Valentine's cups that I have, which aren't very many, thank goodness. Because Phoenix and I really don't really do much for Valentine's. Like, we don't really do gifts. Like, we just kind of go out and have a nice dinner or something, or just kind of go and what's off somewhere. But aren't these just cute? Oh my god. This one says, Sweet Love XOXO. Has all kinds of fancy little things. What does this one say? Will you be mine? Oh, how friggin' precious. I honestly don't even know how old these particular coffee mugs are because I'm like, honestly, they're pretty, but stop buying me stuff on Valentine's Day because I think it's just bizarre. It's not that big of enough holiday for me to go, yeah, spend money on me. Or vice versa. So we just go Dutch and go to dinner somewhere, which I'm totes, oh, totes okay with. God, I can't talk today. Whatever. And this one says love. Oh, so precious. And then this one is my favorite, but this is kind of biased because I really like roses. And we found this one, and it came with this really weird candy stuff, which we both were just like, ugh, gross. And like some kind of chocolate rose thing, which we both really enjoyed. It was delicious. Now these next coffee mugs are Christmas themed. But shh, don't say it loud enough for people to hear you, otherwise they'll start playing the damn songs in September only started. But I only have these few because I don't see the need to have a whole bunch of them because mom owns like 30 of them and I'm sure whenever she decides to get done, she'll only just shove them all into my lap. And then there's these, which I only just now realized that these are Starbucks coffee mugs, which is fine. I'm not a Starbucks coffee fan. I've actually never been to a Starbucks. There is one that I know where it is, but I have never had enough of a desire to go into the building myself and go, hey, 
Give me some of your finest coffee, good sir or madam. I don't even buy, like, the Starbucks stuff that you can find at, like, you know, any of the local stores or gas stations. I'm just... I want coffee, I want the kind that I can just go buy in a bag or do the thing and it just falls out like jelly beans. But anyways, I do like the overall design of this one because it's simple for the most part and it doesn't really take up the whole mug. Not saying that for all the other ones that I have that do I don't like, I'm just saying as a theme, it's really cute. Oh, what can I you napping? So cute. <laughs> Oh, a little foot twitch. Oh, I missed a Christmas coffee mug. It's a pug. I got this last year from one of my sisters. I don't know why they thought that I would like this, but it is oddly cute. <laughs> now we're moving on to the more random coffee mugs. These next three I got at a thrift store because I thought they were really cool looking and just very unique overall. I absolutely love this one. Most of you know I was born in Virginia. I lived less than an hour away from Virginia Beach. That's where I grew up most of my life, or at least my young childlike life. Now I've technically lived most of my life in New York. Anyways, so this just reminds me of the beach. I used to go with my father at like four in the freaking morning, and we would go and like get the metal detectors and we go treasure hunting and stuff. And just this has a lot of like memory of those times and I'd love to go and do it again but you know he works out of state and then I work and we all work and being an adult sucks but I love the color for this too because it just it kind of reminds me of like the sandy beach meets the blue waters of the ocean or whatever and if this actually has I know you can't we don't have philo vision yet but this has some really awesome texture on here too the next one is apples! Oh my god! I just thought it was really pretty, and apples are my absolute favorite fruit. Even as a kid, when I was first learning words and stuff, I absolutely loved apples. I still do. I make some of the best apple pie. You can ask anyone that's ever tasted it, which isn't very many people, but they still love it, so shut up! Maybe one of these days I'll make some apple pie for you. This one, I think, is also very pretty. Apparently it's from the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., at least that's what it says right there. I've never been, I don't think, I may have gone as a super small child, but not to my recollection. The only zoo that I know that I've been to is the one here in, uh, it's in, uh, Chittenango, New York. It's a smaller zoo, but the animals there are very well kept up with, and they look so amazing. There was peacocks, there was tigers, they had crocodile alligator things, and other big animal things and I was just like, okay, I'm a little claustrophobic, now we have to leave, they're kind of close. <laughs> but apparently, I can't count or see, because there is a fourth cup that I was going to show you. Then the only real reason why I got this was because of the complimentary colors. I love that it's an orange with a yellowy green and it, it pops really well. I was just like, oh, it's pretty. That was pretty much it. Oh my god, we got the second layer! This next one's really cute. I can't quite remember when I got it. It's either a Christmas or an Easter gift that my parents got me and my sisters. We all got like a different animal thing. Mine was a fox. It's so cute. It's got little eels. Look at it. It's got eels. Oh my god. It's adorable. Who here likes Dragon Ball Z? That would be me and Phoenix. Now this coffee mug is actually one of those where you're supposed to put hot water in it and then he changes into Super Saiyan thing. I honestly don't know what Phoenix did to this mug, but do you see all these damn cracks on here? He broke the thingy that makes him change colors. I can't figure out what he did. You just put hot water in it. We don't have a dishwasher, so I, I don't know. Both sides are like this. What the hell did he do? He broke it and I ref refuse to replace it because it's too cool. Speaking of changing coffee mugs, this is a Batman one. Now over here, which I doubt you'll be able to see super well, but when you put the hot water in this one, it's supposed to do that Batman logo in the sky and stuff. And it, I think it had like, uh, uh, I can kind of make it out. I think it's just supposed to be the backdrop of the city and clouds and stuff. And, but obviously the freaking logo's there, I can see that. 
I'm pretty positive I got this in a loot crate either this year or maybe some years ago, I don't know. If I did, you could see it there because I know I showed it off and then I'm not about to do it now because I'm blaming Phoenix for ruining the Dragon Ball Z one with Goku and I'm like, well shoot, depending on what he did, I could do the same thing and I don't want to do that. Now this one I think I do remember showing off on Instagram at one point, I believe, though I can't remember. If it wasn't Instagram, I know I did, I think it was one of the Shweebies Travels vlogs that I showed this off. But I found this at a Hot Topic while we were in Pennsylvania, I believe. Either Hot Topic or one of the gaming stores there. And I was just like, oh my god, it's the question block from Mario, I need it! Because <laughs> I'm a huge Mario fan, and I saw this, and it's perfect. It's a perfect square, and it's really durable and just amazing, and I was just, oh, I squeed all over the place. I thought it was really cool, and I still squeed when I see it. I think I've only used it a few times, because it's one of those extra special mugs that I'm just like, I'd sooner just have it to have it, I don't want to risk possibly breaking it, you know? Sad thing is I have run out of paper and I'm not about to stop recording to go and buy paper to wrap the rest of the stuff, so I'll go buy the paper and box out the rest of it later, but I'm still gonna show off the rest of what I have, so get ready. Not all of these will be coffee mugs since I went through most of them already. I have three coffee- no. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six coffee mugs left, and I can't number either. I have six coffee mugs left that are actually counted as coffee mugs. Though I know I have more hidden in this room somewhere, because I already know that I'm missing my Diablo one. And it's not over here! And I don't know where it is. That's a little frustrating, because I really hope I didn't lose that one. Now, I showed these off in a Christmas vlog I think I did last year? Or the year before? Some of you might actually recognize these, but these, oh my god, I absolutely love dragons. Um, it's something that I share with my dad, he absolutely loves dragons, he can draw them amazingly. I am super jealous of his artistic ability. Huh. If ever I find something that I can share, I will, and you'll see what I mean. But anyway, so we got the dragon love thing from my dad. and. Um, mom and dad actually found these for uh, myself, and I was just like, oh my god, freaking dragon, it's a coffee mug thing, and it's so freaking cool. And if you need to clean it, okay, maybe it's not this one. One of these versions of them, you can actually take the metal part out. These are not dishwasher safe. I don't have a dishwasher, so everything is hand washed anyways, but these are some of those coffee mugs that I don't use. They just sit there. If I am going to use them, it's maybe water, and that's about it. Not that these aren't that durable or anything, I just, they're too pretty, you know what I mean? Too, too pretty to be messing around with. But look at that, oh my god, that's my little Spyro mug! Kinda, not really, it's what it reminds me of. Let me use a purple version. It's got a little blue one right there, so fancy fabulous. Now since we're on the topic of dragons, anyways, I actually included in that set have goblets that my parents found, which are just freaking cool. Look, look, look at the level of detail that they added on these things. Like, just seriously now? I freaking love it. it. It's like looking at one of those super old, like, cathedral thingies. Maybe it's not a cathedral. Yeah, no, a cathedral, whatever. Thing with worship and stuff and churches and big and they have gargoyles all over them. You know what I'm talking about. But just look at all the way down to the base. They're freaking amazing. I'm trying to get the camera to cooperate, it's just being a royal poop face at the moment. Come on. Well, whatever. Aren't they freaking neato keenness? And then we have a nymph one. It's creepy. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. This one actually bothers me because of the eyes. I, I feel like Maybe if they'd given it a softer face or something, uh, it probably wouldn't be that terrifying to look at. But it's, a, it's cool though, because like it's got the beard and mustache made out of leaves, and it goes all the way down to those roots, which is cool, like it's awesome, but the eyes, <laughs> that's what gets me. It's just like, someone woke me from my nap, <laughs> give me coffee now, more ale, wench. Now I don't, now I do have some of them that are in boxes because there's some of them special ones that I got either from a loot crate or I just bought them as is that way, so I don't even know what half of them are. Oh, but I got this one in a loot gaming thing. Last of Us, which I still need to play. Some of you know that The Last of Us was actually the game that came with my PS4 when I purchased it. I've had 
the PS4 now for four or five years? And I've still not played that game. I don't know why. There's no real particular reason as to why. I just, I haven't. I've had so many requests to play it, and I just, I haven't. <laughs> I don't know why. People have told me I need tissues ready for when I do play it. That might actually be part of the reason why. I'm like, do I really want to get super involved in a game that's just going to have me blubbering like a baby by the time I'm done? Or even just getting started? And the truthful answer is probably not, but I'm going to. I don't know when, but we will. Now, this one, I was really excited when I found it. I found it at my local uh, GameStop and just geeked all over the place because I'm a huge Mario fan. It was the first game that I had on uh, Super Nintendo, though it was the Mario Party All-Stars game. And this was the, the original Super Mario Bros. And I was just like, oh my god. I don't know how well you can see this necessarily. Oops. But that's what it is on the inside. Uh, you probably ain't going to see it that way at all, but whatever. This is one of those coffee mugs that will most likely never ever leave the box because it's that cool and I'm such a huge Mario fan, It's that's probably just how it's going to stay. I'm sorry coffee mug, but you are doomed forever to stay in this box. Oh, okay. So here's the last coffee mug that's on the table. I don't know where the rest of them are. For those of you that saw that PlayStation unboxing thing that I did, I think think, do not quote me, I think this was the mug that was in there, I could be wrong, but I saw this and was really intrigued because I've been a PlayStation fan since PlayStation 1. That's thanks to Dad because he's actually what got me into gaming in the first place. I've told that story several times, if you guys want to hear it, I'm sure it's on the channel somewhere. Anyways, saw this and was like, now that's a classic. Putting it back to PlayStation 1, baby. Love it. Now these are not part of the coffee mug collection necessarily, but they are glassware that I will have to wrap up and put away. These are disgusting now that I look at them. I was using this as a candle burner holder thing. That's nice. I found these at a thrift store thing at one point. And apparently... <laughs> okay, I never cleaned it from the last time I burned a candle on it. But it's pretty. It's got like all of the pretty... You know, I forget what it's called. It's like the ink style painting thing that they do and I don't know what it's called but you know what I'm talking about they do paintings and pretty stuff with it shut up stop judging me and then there's this one which I think is really pretty again I don't drink tea I'm not a tea person so I mean if you are there you go these are little teacups with the little saucer thingies there you go now these last few things are not coffee mugs Again, just part of the stuff that I have to wrap and put away, and I figured, why not? I'll show them off because I have them. I don't remember where I got this from, but it is a Pac-Man thing chasing all the, the ghosts. Uh, Inky, Blinky, Stinky, Bob, Jessica, Phil, Ted, I forget their names. I think I got like the first two right and that was it. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I think I got this in a little gaming thing. I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but that's fine. The Assassin's Creed thing was from Nerd Block, but it was their game block. I, does anybody know what's going on with them? Because I kept up with them for a while and then they left and stuff happened. And I'd really love it if they came back because I really enjoyed the stuff that they would send out once a month. It was really cool. And unfortunately, I only had them, I think, for two months. But the stuff that they had, the merchandising, the merchandising was amazing. And this is Assassin's Creed, one of my favorite franchises, albeit I've not played all the games. This freaking Ezio 3, I, the, the black and white maze thing, I can't see it for some reason. The monochromatic colors gave me a wicked headache and I gave up, but the first two games were absolutely amazing and I loved them very much. So I saw this in that box when they came in and I was like, oh my god, so cool. But anyways, yes, so I actually think it's supposed to be out there. Does it say? Doesn't necessarily say. Oh, but they are 16 fluid ounces glasses. Oh my god, ain't that fancy. Oh, now these. Uh, we got the Phoenix as a Christmas gift because he is a huge, huge Harry Potter fan. Had the original books. Very much like Lord of the Rings. Like, he's a huge Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings fan, but we found these for him. Yes, baby. It's all of the glasses. Freaking eh, sit. 
I just thought that he, this was really cool. He's not opened them. They've stayed in the box this entire time. And just the level of art and detail that they have on each of these is freaking amazing. Like, oh my god. I have to say, the Slytherin one is my favorite, which is kind of a biased thing because it's green and it's got a snake on it, which I think is also really cool. But if I had to pick a house, I'd probably most likely be in... Phoenix and I talked about this before. I think it was Hufflepuff was what I would wind up in due to my characteristics and just the kind of person that I am. And he would have wound up in either in Slytherin or Raven, if I remember correctly. It was one of the two. What class would you have wound up in? Hmm? Do tell, do tell. I'd like to know. Let's start a conversation. Even if it's Harry Potter based. That'd be fancy. Eh. Eh. Reach. 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 I need another inch. There we go. Okay. Now this. Can't remember what this is. Oh, this is a sake set that I got. Um, we have this amazing couple of Asian stores that are up further in, uh, like, uh, it's DeWitt or Fayetteville area of New York. And every now and then they'll sell, like, these sake sets or tea sets and stuff. And we love getting them right around the holidays because they're perfect. Because for some reason, all of us in this family like collecting glassware. Don't know where that fascination comes from necessarily, but we all have, like, very specific glassware that we collect. One of my sisters does tea sets. Uh, myself, my youngest sister, my mom do coffee mugs. Another sister does like just regular glasses. Dad does uh, shot glasses and things like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I saw this and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. It's got the little soccer things on it and it's so friggin' fancy. And it stays in the box. I have used it. Um, uh, I don't think I actually used alcohol with that particular one though. So this was, okay. Now, the reason that this is really cool is these are actually Thai soup spoons and sauce dishes. Mom has really gotten into like cooking Asian foods and she loves looking up recipes and trying new things and trying to make her own stuff. So again, that was part of the, the time of collecting, you know, cutlery and glassware and we should just give the stuff to Chris around Christmas time. Jesus, I can't talk. But anyways. The reason that this is really cool because I had used these before, not this particular set, but um, my very first job I worked at Turning Stone. It's a really, really popular uh, gambling casino hotel resort place up in um, Vernon or Verona, New York. I, I worked there many much moons and years ago um, as a housekeeper. and because of just the location. I literally work with people all over the place from all over the freaking world. And um, I won't say their names just for protection reasons, but they brought in some of the coolest foods and I brought in my basic bitch foods and we shared and stuff and they were using those spoons and I had asked them about it and I was like, oh, that's really cool. And yeah, so a little bit of neat culture there. All right, so the last thing that I'm gonna share is, again, not coffee mug related, but still glass related because it's the last thing over here that I have to put away. It's a very dusty and cat-covered, cali-fuzzed teapot. Again, not a tea person, but mom got this for me, and it comes with these very fancy teacup things. It's got a crayon on it, and it's really pretty. I like it. Again, monochromatic colors, but still very pretty and awesome. I have never, ever, ever used it. It actually comes with four of these. I know where the other three are. I just have to go and collect them. But there you go. That is the coffee mug and extra glassware accessories wrapping and putting away, but I still have to go buy more paper to wrap the rest of the stuff up with Shreevy. How did you enjoy? Did you like all this stuff? I had an absolute fun nightmare cleanup session with this. It was interesting. I'm really glad I got to share this with all of you to prove that yes, I have a crap ton of coffee mugs. The sad thing is, as I've been saying throughout this whole video, I have more. I don't know where they are. Because there's a Diablo one I'm missing. I'm pretty sure I have another Batman one somewhere. Um, God, I'm, I'm almost 100% positive that I have another Deadpool one somewhere, if not a Spider-Man one. No idea where either of those two are. At one point, I did have this really cool Pikachu one. But uh, the day that I got it, Phoenix, 
friggin' dropped it, the big turd. <laughs> We've yet to replace it, but that's fine. Because, honestly, it's just a coffee mug. It's not gonna kill me, but I was just like, oh, now you're buying dinner, bitch. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite coffee mug was. Honestly, my most absolute favorite coffee mug will be the Super Mario Brothers one. Um, because biased, but I mean, that just has a huge heart string and pull and everything for me there. Plus, it's Mario. I absolutely love Mario. You know, biased opinions and all. What was your favorite? Do you have a favorite coffee mug or glassware tea set thing? I don't freaking care. Let me know about it down in the comment section below. If there's any other kind of collection stuff you'd like for me to show off, such as my dragon stuff, which I have a crap ton of those too. I, it would just take me a bit to get it all together, but I'd like to share it with you. Or if there's any other kind of random videos you want me to just share stuff about me with, I shall. Until then, my sweet people, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me sharing off my collections with you. I enjoyed sharing it with you. Until then, let's hear them. Crazy Lady collects a lot of glass stuff for no apparent reason. Bell cries. Woo! Yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode.